Control of the Illinois Supreme Court hangs in the balance this November. Republicans see an opening to knock Justice Thomas Kilbride off the, off the bench. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell is live in Springfield tonight. Mark, if Kilbride loses his seat, that could open the door for a 4-3 to three Republican majority. It could. Uh, it also could leave the court hanging in gridlock with a 3-3 position until 2022 when that seat would be filled. That's why donors are dumping millions of dollars into this big race to try and open up that seat on the bench and kick Justice Kilbride off of it. GOP mega donors Dick Uline and Ken Griffin combining to give a total of $2.5 million to the super PAC effort to dump Justice Kilbride. But it's a check for half a million dollars that's drawing Republican members of Congress into the fray here in Springfield. Campaign finance records show the Democratic Party of Illinois, operated by Speaker Madigan, gave Kilbride's campaign committee $550,000. That's especially notable because Justice Kilbride just promised this week, or this month rather, that he would not accept a single penny from any campaign fund Speaker Madigan controls. You know, he has taken repeated money from Mike Madigan. And now with this uh, check that uh, Madigan has put into his account, you know, he's going to owe him. Of course he's going to owe him. Kilbride has been compromised. There's no other way to put it. When Madigan is a party to these cases, there's no way that uh, Kilbride uh, can be fair, impartial, or independent. It's legal for Mike Madigan to give him the money, but is it really ethical? Is this really what Illinois wants for its Supreme Court? And the Kilbride campaign defending that move in a statement writing, quote, by law, Justice Kilbride is not allowed to solicit campaign contributions to further maintain his impartiality. He has no role in fundraising. All such decisions made by his treasurer and no knowledge of the donors to his retention committee nor of those to the opposition committee. So what's really at stake here and why are Republican members of Congress interested in a seat at the Illinois State Supreme Court? Well, it could all come down to the election maps, those maps drawn once a decade here in Springfield by Speaker Madigan, the Senate President, and Governor Pritzker. Republicans might challenge the Democratic map. If they do, it could come here to the Supreme Court. That's why they think they want to have uh, a say here. They want to have that uh, fight now. It puts them in a better position to challenge that map once it's drawn. Reporting in Springfield, Mark Maxwell, WCIA3, your local news leader. All right, Mark, thank you so much.